So we're here at the Ubuntu booth here at CES 2013. And just before CES, you had a huge announcement, right? We did, that's right, yeah. So um, this week at CES, we're announcing the new Ubuntu Phone OS. So this is a, this is a new type of uh, platform for smartphones. Exactly, yeah. So we've uh, we've taken Ubuntu, which has always always been very successful um, as a as a desktop OS. Um, and we've now developed it so it will work across different device forms. So um, it now works, the same system now is uh, supported on desktop OS, TV, and now smartphones. Nice. So can you show it a bit what it does? Yeah, sure. So this is the welcome screen. So as you can see, this is a personal visualization of um, some of the activity that's been um, on the phone. So this is showing the number of tweets that have been received at a particular time. So we think it's a very well-designed, very attractive way in which we, um, we can show a, a very personal visualization of the services that run on the phone. Um, so we can swipe from the left and, and get access to immediate access to a full range of applications that the user would want instant access to. Um, by going down to the home screen, we go into the main system. As you can see, we've got a very nicely designed user interface where the user can get access to all their applications that they use regularly. So this is where they can see all their content um, and access it from a single part of the UI. If I go into my contacts and my address book, I can see that all my contacts, I can see all the recent activity that's taken place. So for example, uh, by clicking on this contact, so I can then see what Facebook updates. I can click on that and I've got full Facebook integration with the, um, with the platform. So it's, it's, again, it's a very neat, um, very, very um, interesting way in, in which we can integrate our Facebook contacts with a whole range of different social networking services. So how does it take to design all these special designs? How long did it take? Well, we've yeah. been working um, on designing this for some time. So we, we, uh, we, we've been focused on driving Ubuntu into different, um, different device types for some time now. So the whole way in which we, um, we've been focused on um, progressing our work has been focused on a number of different devices. So, uh, so yeah, this has been running for some time. So uh, how different is this compared to the rest of Ubuntu? Is everything there? Everything. This is Ubuntu. This is just effectively a different um, UI that we've adapted to run Ubuntu for, for smartphones. So it's the same, the same UI, the same code is running on the desktops, running on the phone, running on TV, and will run on tablets too. This means that application developers can develop applications, and they can choose which devices they want those applications to run on. So effectively, it's Ubuntu top to bottom, except that we've obviously provided a certain amount of design and adaptation to see this UI run on the um, um, on, on the phone itself. Is it final? Is it super smooth? Can you smooth it even It's very it even smooth, more? yeah. So, can um, it be faster? So what can you do to make it faster? So, so basically, you know, I can, I can show you the multitasking capability. So I'm swiping through all the applications that are open right now. Um, you can see it's got a very smooth experience. So this is our, this is our photo application. So, you know, you can see it's got a very, very responsive, very, very smooth look and feel associated with it. Um, I can easily go back to the home screen and then just go into any other service that I have available. Um, I can go into my applications and see a full range of applications that are available. Um, interestingly for this service as well, I can see applications that are available to download. So this is interesting for service providers that would want to allow um, their services and give their services profile as part of the UI. So you're using the GPU, uh, this is a SGX on the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, it's very important to use the GPU and the UI, right? To oh, accelerate course. everything. Exactly, so this is one of the reasons why um, Ubuntu is so interesting with our, with our service partners is because we've developed the system so it runs entirely natively on the phone. So there's no Java machine here. Everything that you see in terms of the way that the graphics work, the way in which the applications run, is utilizing the full power and performance of the hardware itself. So can you support any Android device, any, any ARM processor, any uh, GPU? Uh, how, how much work does it take to get your OS to work everywhere? So we have discussions taking place with all sorts of different hardware manufacturers right now, but we're working with, um, we're, we're, we're focused on making sure that the system will run on all of the relevant um, hardware components that would go into making up a smartphone OS. So how about, 
before you were talking about the Wuhan 4 Android, right? The Wuhan Android. Yeah, so, so this. How is that different? So, Ubuntu for Android was a product we launched last year, which you can see running here. So this is a, a very high-powered smartphone device. It's um, it's got a, a multi-core CPU. Um, it's also got a Linux kernel, which means that so when the phone's docked to it over an HDMI connection to a desktop monitor with with keyboard and mouse, it can run the full version of Ubuntu OS natively from the phone. So the, the system is running both Ubuntu as a native desktop solution, and it's also running the same the Android solution at the same time. So the Ubuntu that it runs is exactly as powerful and as feature tooling as, as the, the one you're showing there. So this is the desktop OS that I'm showing here. So this this is the Ubuntu Phone OS. Similarly, with Ubuntu Phone OSs, um, manufacturers can incorporate um, this phone, particularly for high-end phones. So when this phone is docked into a, a docking station over HDMI to a monitor, it will run the desktop OS at the same time as the Ubuntu Phone OS. So, uh, how about Android and Ubuntu Phone and Desktop? What is you know, can you have Ubuntu on top of Android as no. mobile? Why not? No, our, our, our objective is to, has been to develop Ubuntu Phone S as a native smartphone platform. So it would make sense to have both? To offer like an icon and you go over to Ubuntu on a... Uh, we don't think so. It's not, it's not something that's interesting for us from a strategic perspective. We actually want to, we think that there's an opportunity to establish Ubuntu as, its own, as a smartphone system in its own right. But isn't it what you showed over there, like uh, Android and Ubuntu working at the same time? Why, why, is it, why is it necessary to not have both when you do mobile OS? Because Android, Android as a smartphone platform is very popular, it's very well used, and a lot of hardware manufacturers are interested in ways in which they can differentiate their Android um, devices. And this, and this is one way in which they can do that. They can establish an, um, a, a Ubuntu as a desktop OS that runs as that runs directly from their Android smartphone. In exactly the same way, <coughs> they can run the Ubuntu desktop OS from uh, an Ubuntu smartphone. So it's about converging the opportunity for a desktop OS with a smartphone OS. And that smartphone OS can be our Ubuntu OS, or it can, or it can just as easily be the Android OS. But technically, uh, isn't it possible for you to, uh, to support uh, both at the same time and as a mobile OS? Like uh, Ubuntu and Android. As a, as a smartphone. As a smartphone UI. We, we think the opportunity for Ubuntu is in establishing it as a fully native primary smartphone OS in its own right. So how would you uh, uh, compare it with Android then? Uh, you, are you saying that uh, it's for powerful apps because they're native or something like that? So it's, it's got better performance associated when you compare it with Android because we're able to utilize the full power, the full native power of the hardware itself. It's also got a very unique design and user experience associated with it. It's also got a number of different ways in which the UI could be customized to allow our service partners to give prominence and profile to certain services that they think are important to their user base. So these are all things that we, that we think are different about Ubuntu compared to the other more conventional OSs. Is it hackable? It's fully hackable, it's fully open source, so the code base for this will be released in the next, in the next few weeks, so the, community, the Ubuntu community can get their hands on it, and that will include an image that enabled them to download and install the phone on the um, this is a on the Galaxy Nexus. This is a Galaxy Nexus, so it's a it's a great it's a great piece of hardware for us to use the, and, and install our own our own software on. All right, cool. So uh, lots of things going on at Canonical. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. This We've got a, a lot more to announce as well this year. So this is Ubuntu on ARM. This is this is Ubuntu running on ARM. Yes, yeah. I mean, Ubuntu has That's been running on ARM for a long time. So no, I mean, Ubuntu runs on x86 for laptop devices. So it's about it's about taking Ubuntu and applying it across a whole family of devices, for which we think is uh, um, relevant for Ubuntu. So I have this Chromebook. I think it's the coolest device ever, and uh, it's possible to install Ubuntu. It's not something Canonical is doing. I, I think there is. Um, I have noticed some community work on in, in place right now that allow you to do that, but uh, but yeah, that's... Is it the big uh, future secret plan at Canonical? Or is it maybe not secret, but uh, basically I'm part of that Ubuntu already runs an ARM-powered laptop, so we, we, we did a... We, we did a
products on that some some years ago. So there's there's Ubuntu and Arm has been running for a long, long time. We're also one of the founder members of Lenaro, which is all about bringing Ubuntu up and ARM-based systems. So uh, it's, uh, it's 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 very much what Ubuntu has been about for some time. But now reaching the mass market. In terms of these types of devices, yes, that's what that's where we're going next. All right. What is the license fee? Is there any like kind of like support fee or something? Is that secret? So there's, in terms of how we intend to go to market, you know, there are obviously commercial um, uh, models that, 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 that we discussed directly, but um, there isn't anything public to say on that. Cool. Okay, thank you.